And welcome back. This is Baller Scuba again with another StarCraft 2 commentary. I am the Blue Terran yet again in the south, facing off against Adam, the Red Zerg in the northeast. This is Novice Blistering Sands. Um, where are those rocks? There they are. Uh, those should be protecting me for quite some time. As you can see, there's no rocks there. This is the original version of StarCraft 2. Um, we are, this is my first match against anybody that's not a Terran, which is always nice. Uh, he is going for a very early pool, uh, here. Uh, not quite sure what the, he's going for there. There's not much Zerks can do on this map, uh, considering the destructible rocks are there. Um, one benefit to being Zerg on, on a novice map is they are the only race that can scout early. Uh, you can see that Overlord coming across. He's not affected by any rocks on the ground. I can't send an SUV over. He can't send a drone over, but he can definitely send an Overlord over. Uh, therefore, I am going for the, the Marines as fast as possible. I am not blocking off, but I do expect that Overlord over. Um, I do s do I see him at this point? Does not look like it. I am just sending my marines next to the destructible rocks. Uh, that overlord is going away. Um, he is going for a rush at this point. Uh, trying to take down those rocks, uh, going for the zergling rush. Uh, you can see that evolution chamber going down. Uh, we don't see the uh, zergling speed going yet. Uh, he does have it um, any time now. Uh, he could be going for it, uh, just going for mass zerglings at this point. I am instead going for the fast expansion. Um, I figure at this point it's pretty safe. Uh, this is a novice map. I should have time to get that through. Um, really, I should be going for uh, marauders at this point. Um, if I had known that he was going mass zerglings, I would have done that. Instead, I figure I would uh, go a little different than what I've normally been going uh, and go for the Reaper Harass. Um, they could be so good on this map. Um, as you can see, I, I sent them for the wrong rally point. Still the ones that I expected um, uh, my Marines to go. Um, as you can see, this would be a great spot to come in uh, for Reapers. Uh, I could come in here uh, and do some major harassment on these drones. Um, it looks like I do have my expansion up, uh, saturated pretty nicely here. Uh, still not that big of an army. I am waiting for four marines, I probably could, or, sorry, four reapers. I probably could have sent in with just the two. Uh, I am wait be waiting for that fourth one before I try to do any harassment. Um, Adam, on the other hand, took out the destructible rocks on the high yield. I never, I never do think I saw that. Uh, in this game, uh, would have been nice to know. Um, could have taken that uh, expansion out uh, early, especially with these four Reapers. He now sent those Zerglings to uh, the Zalnaga Watchtower. Uh, just to keep an eye on everything, he do does have an early Overseer out, uh, sending a Changeling in. Uh, real rookie mistake on my part. Uh, letting... Uh, <laughs> that changeling just stand there, uh, not noticing that he's on the wrong side of the rocks. Uh, there are my reapers finally heading out at the almost nine minute mark, way too late for a, uh, for a reaper harass. Um, he, you do see that expansion going down for Adam on uh, the high yield in the southeast there. On the other hand, M... Um, continuing to go for the MMM build uh, with a Reaper Harass. I do finally get in, trying to check out an infestation pit. Not quite sure why I was focusing on that. Might have been just bad micro on my part. You do see um, a Hydra going down there. I am getting quite a few uh, drones killed here with that Reaper Harass. I'm just going to let them die at this point. I uh, figured I've done quite enough damage. I, I figure that I'm facing uh, another uh, weak player, somebody new to the game, uh, quite like me. Uh, trust me, look at this, I, I'm not one to brag. It's just letting that uh, changeling stare me in the face with, with absolutely no impunity here. Uh, 
He is uh, Adam is sending his Zerglings back to his main base. Um, we are seeing that starport finally going down for me. Uh, do see th uh, three racks. Uh, would love to see more racks coming out, especially with that huge mineral and gas count here. Uh, that hatchery is up, uh, but since I went in for that harass, even probably before I went in for that harass, he just didn't have enough drones to transfer. Uh, so it is um, starting fresh with <laughs> uh, two drones at this point, and he is sending those zerglings in to protect. Um, I'm messing quite an army here, enough to take out those Urglings and easily uh, take out. Doesn't look like he's producing anything, no, just uh, just drones at this point. So really, uh, his only army is those uh, Zerglings that are uh, protecting the high yield expansion here. Uh, he, We do see a hive out uh, for him. Uh, it's really too early for that. Uh, from the Zerg players, uh, considering uh, the size of his army um, is just Zerglings at this point. We see an infestation pit, no infestors, uh, evolution chamber, a spire, uh, morphing into a greater spire. Looks like he wants Broodlords as soon as possible. We did see one Hydralisk uh, come out from the Hydralisk den, um, but right now he's just going for Overlords um, and Corruptors, so it does look like we should be seeing uh, Broodlords coming out uh, eventually if uh, I allow him to continue with this build. Uh, my s expansion is fully saturated. Um, it does look like my uh, main base is uh, close to being mined out there. Uh, we are seeing him go quite a bit on the uh, on the saturation on the high yield. Uh, not going for gas at this point. Uh, because he's got plenty coming uh, from here, because he's simply not utilizing uh, his gas properly, um, really does need to be using, uh, getting mutalisks here, that would be uh, great. No need to get the Greater Spire. Uh, mutalisks do pretty well against uh, this kind of build. Um, what would really be great, though, is Banelings. Banelings would absolutely destroy my army. Uh, but no Baneling less. That seems to be the only text that he <laughs> hasn't gotten yet. Um, no Ultralist Den either, uh, but really Banelings against Terran is just so good early on in the game. Uh, can take out any kind of... Um, any kind of block off here. Uh, we are seeing a slightly different tactic for me. I did load up my medevacs. I am going to be going for a medevac drop here. Um, really, with his entire army m guarding his expansion, he's really got nothing here uh, to block off any sort of attack um, on his main, which he should have expected. I do drop behind these bushes, and... Here we are going in for the kill. Really, he stands no chance, even if those Zerglings were there. Um, the just army is not strong enough. Mine isn't that great either, but it is enough to take out this uh, base. And he's really down to nothing here except for that expansion. Um, not even bothering to move those Zerglings, just leaves the game. Uh, no GG, but that's all right. Um, so this, yeah, this is the first time seeing a Zerg player on my channel. Um, let me know what you think, um, what he could have done better. Um, obviously, there's a ton that he could have done. Uh, was it worth the risk going for this high risk expansion, uh, high yield expansion? That was a high risk move on his part. Obviously, he didn't have time to make it pay off. But is it a good move overall? Love to hear from you. See you guys next time.